Hi everyone, welcome back to Palm API Shenanigans with Linda. And as always, I would be Linda. There is a new buzzword out there and it's called prompt engineering. Makersuite makes prompt engineering a lot easier in my opinion. It gives us the ability to test our inputs on the fly. But that doesn't necessarily mean that prompt engineering is easy. Today, I'm going to give you a look at how to improve the results of your prompts. If, for example, you want to export or format the data as a CSV file. Let's start by looking at a simple prompt. Generate a list of top 10 Generate a list of the happiest top 10 countries in the world and return the Return the results in a comma separated value format, uh, not markdown, and put uh, field names in the first row. Okay? That is a basic prompt. And it's probably something you've done. I know it's something I've done. We just ask it basic information and then we see what happens. So let's run it and see what we get. Now, as you can see, it didn't give us CSV, did it? It gave us a list, which isn't exactly what we wanted. But how are we going to fix that? For me, it helps to think of the AI as a child. A child does not necessarily know instinctively what a comma separated value format is. So what we can do is something called zero shot prompt, where we give it a little more information in the form of an example. So if we tell it that we want to generate the list of the top 10 happiest countries and return the results in a comma separated format, well, that's fine. But if it doesn't know what the format is, well, then maybe we should tell it. So if I say I want to see happiness CSV, and I want to see rank and then country and score. Now it knows a format or it should know a format. So let's run it and see what happens. Well, there you go. Now we have the top header and each of our subsequent countries in their order. And it only gave me 10 because I asked for 10. So that's, that's actually really good. And in with this simple example, it worked just fine. But sometimes you need to go a little further than that. Now I've actually been testing with this and it's a little long, so I don't want to type it out here. So I'm just going to paste it in. And what you can see here is, is what I've done, which is slightly different. This is called few shot prompt, where we actually give it some, an example of what we want to see. So we tell it that the task is we want to see top five ice cream flavors in CSV format. And then we give it the file name, we give it the columns we want to see, and then we actually give it an example of the valid response we would want. Then we just do our hap request for the top 10 happiest, and we ask it to output that. 
And then again, it's able to figure it out. Unfortunately, it didn't give me my heading. So it's, it's not perfect, but again, I don't actually think we asked for a heading in this one. So I guess that's fine. But you see, by giving it more examples, you can improve the format of the results. Now, if all you're doing is just, you know, having it write stories for you, that's fine. But if you're looking for something that needs to be formatted properly in a specific format, like CSV, JSON, XML, and even objects. I use this quite often when I'm having it format objects responses for me so that it understands the format of the response. One thing I'd like to add is that prompt engineering is an ongoing process. As you use AI models more and more, you'll learn what works best for you and for the specific task that you're trying to accomplish. Don't be afraid to experiment with different prompts and see what gives you the best results. But I have a few extra tips that might help you with your prompt engineering. Make sure to use clear and concise language. Avoid jargon or technical terms that the AI might not understand. And do as I did and spell check your prompts. The better your grammar is and the better your spelling is, the easier it will be for the AI to understand you. And be specific and clear in your instructions. Tell the AI model exactly what you want it to do and in what format you want the results in. Don't assume that the AI knows something because in a lot of cases, they don't. Use examples to help the AI model your, understand your expectations. For example, if you want the model to generate the CSV file, like I showed, provide it with an example of the CSV file you want to see. And then use feedback to improve your prompts. If the AI doesn't give you the results you want, try to figure out why and adjust your prompt accordingly. For me, prompt engineering is a lot of fun. It's trying to get information out of a system that we have never seen before. We've never had access to something like this before. And it's fascinating and exciting. And I can't wait to see what we can do in the next few years. I think it's going to be amazing. And I love playing with different prompts. So if you have an idea for a prompt that you can't get to work or you want help getting it to work, please let me know because I'd love to give it a shot. Well, that's all for today. And as always, if you liked the video, if it helped, like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.